I suddenly realize that that body is dead. And I'm too young to die. I'm only 20 years of age. And then all of a sudden, I thought the light at the head end of the room was getting brighter. But it was growing in an intensity of light to where if you turned on a million welders' lights, you'd have some idea of the intensity. Three things happened at the exact same moment. Something deep inside of my spiritual being, not the corpse lying over in the bed, said, stand up, you're in the presence of the Son of God. At that exact same instant, out of this brilliant light stepped the most amazing being I have ever met, and those hospital walls virtually disappeared. I saw every single minute detail of my life, everything I had ever done in public and private, from, from seeing my own cesarean section birth, through my 20th year when I was pronounced dead. And uh, he threw a question, what had I done with my life? And I thought, well, I'm an Eagle Scout. Immediately he shot back that glorified Jew. And the same question again, what have you done with your life? Now over there in that realm, there is no such thing as hypocrisy because one of the first things that you become aware of is that the other being is totally aware of what you think. So you can't think one thing and say another. There's no such thing as misunderstanding what he meant. And yet, here was a being that knew everything about me. And he totally accepted me and he totally loved me. Now that blew my mind. What happened during those nine minutes? Uh, Who did you see? What happened? John, this is why I've written this book. Yes. I met the Christ because I was told to stand up. Uh, you're in the presence of the Son of God. He came into my room. And he conducted me through four different realms of life after death. He t really brought out three things that you know, changed my life, and I think was the major reason he told me I had to come back, because I didn't want to come back here. You didn't want to come back? No, I absolutely did not. What if are you the can, three things? All right, the first thing, can you imagine being in the room with somebody who knows every single minute detail of your life no. and totally accepts you and totally loves you? And that's the first wonderful thing. I found out that the one person I'd been always taught to judge the quick and the dead was in the loving department instead of the judging department. The next thing that he showed me by taking me through four different realms of life after death is that you and my father doesn't send us any place. The type of life we live here determines where we're going when we leave here. It does determine? Yes. Right. He doesn't send us to heaven or hell or purgatory or anything else. But you don't leave, say, kindergarten here and start the university. You've got to go through grade school, intermediate school, high school, and the type of grades you make your interest determine which university you go to. So uh, if, you're, if you're a bastard, you don't get a good hereafter. <laughs> no, you Cheer really, me up. You really don't. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't think in your case I have to cheer no, you No, up. but I know a lot of people. I just want to make sure we're not going to meet again so fast. Go ahead. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. Over here we have a saying, birds of a feather flock together. Right. Over there you have to flock together because it's too embarrassing to be with people who don't think the same way you do. And George is going, that's right. And that's you have mental told. telepathy over there, so you can't, uh, you can't take somebody for a ride with your thoughts. What you actually think is instantaneously aware to them. Right. So you go to whatever realm you're best suited to go to. All right. What? So now give me the three things again, very, again. All right. First, First. that we really do have because... Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen what the Father is like. We have a God of love. A God of love. Who's Second. always for our good interest. Right. Second. Second, that there are many different realms of life after death, not just two. Right. But we go depending to on depending on what, what type of done. life and what our interest is here depends on where we start off over there. And the third? Third, that life really is forever. We don't die. Death is nothing more than just a gateway through which we go.